Mars is a strange planet with some pretty strange features. Let's check out the spaceships. What looks a lot like an object sitting there is actually a depression or perhaps impression in the ground. And it looks a lot like a spaceship landed there and then took off. That's partly because it's so pristine and sharp and clear, also because it's so symmetric. The angle there is 87 degrees and it's 1.37 miles long. At the widest part, it's about 0.45 miles wide. More on that later. Those edges are very clear, which doesn't happen with asteroid impacts. As we look at this nearby normal asteroid crater for reference, you can see how bunched up against the edges are from the shock wave. We don't see that here. So what I think happened is that something six times the length of an aircraft carrier landed here gently was heavy, sunk in the ground, and then took off without heavy exhaust and went west because it's particularly the west edge that's slightly lifted up against and there's a crack there. So this thing went west. Now about this angle, as we go about 1500 miles east at the same angle, And what we see here is tracks in the ground. Unfortunately, this area is not very detailed. But as we look closely and try to measure the width, it's about the same as that spaceship footprint. And your guess is as good as mine. Why an ancient spaceship would be plowing the ground. As we go west about 800 miles at the same angle, what we have here is more tracks in the ground, and they're about the same width. Why ever that is. And now for the next one. I used to call this the 5,000 meter football stadium, which is misleading as if it were above ground. It's a stamped in depression. But as you look carefully at the edges, they're not bunched up against. This isn't an asteroid crater, and it's not round anyway. But you can see from the blast pattern that this did have a violent creation. So it looks to me like something. 20 times the length of an aircraft carrier fell here from the sky with a great thud but not nearly as hard as an asteroid impact and created this this depression here there are two possible reasons why that depression floor is so flat maybe it was just the shape of the hull of the spaceship it could have been a flat bottom or maybe it's partly filled in with dust that blew in but cannot be blown out so it would have happened a very long time ago. In either case, there might be broken debris buried underneath the dust, which is why we should excavate that someday. Now, just like the first one, we'll measure the width. It's about 1.8 miles. We'll measure the length. I mean, the angle. It's about 105 degrees. So when we go 105 degrees east, what we find here is a wide track mark. And the width is about 1.8 miles. It matches, although that's not exact. And over here we have narrow track marks that match the width of the first spaceship footprint. 
Maybe they were working together. And maybe they were working westward. Then as it was going west, the big spaceship malfunctioned, collapsed, and was knocked out of commission. Because as we look west at the same angle, what we have is only the narrow track marks in the ground, no wide ones. So it looks like the little spaceship was on its own at this point. And now we'll check out the ice tunnel. Close to the North Pole, we have a pretty good round smooth tunnel in the ice, possibly going underground. As we back up a little bit, this looks a lot, this looks like a spaceship buried in the ice, which I cannot believe. But it is facing the same direction as the tunnel, so I don't know what to think. As we look closely and carefully at the details, I think this tunnel is an Audi. Something bulged and melted its way out, then took off and leaving behind this preserved frozen tunnel. And that's really all. Except the width happens to be about 1.37 miles. It matches the length of the first spaceship footprint. Just thought you should know.